Welcome to another episode of the Seattle Shoe Blog. Please subscribe and uh, also follow me on Instagram. Today I'm going to do a review of a shoe, uh, a brand of shoes that I have always enjoyed, um, have continued to buy throughout my life in the last 20 years and has um, been great. So the shoe I'm going to talk about today is none other than a pair of John Lobs. But this pair of John Lobs, um, before I reveal it, has been extremely versatile. Uh, the shoe has made, you know, an impression on many and I love it. It's easy to put on and off and uh, it is as formal as you want it to be. And uh, even sometimes I've worn it with a pair of jeans. I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, it has served me well in the past. So without further ado, it is a pair of John Lobs. Uh, very simple, simple broken, right? Beautiful tap toe. I've given it a mirror shine in the past. Um, easy to put on and take off, especially if you are, you know, going into um, homes in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, where there is plush carpeting and everyone takes their shoes off. This is one of those uh, occasions where you can easily take those off. And it's from their high-end line. Uh, I believe that's what they call their hand grade or their higher end. And uh, it comes with lasted shoe trees uh, and beautiful shoe trees at that as well. The hole for breathing, it's fully lasted. And I believe this model is known as Philip II loafer, right? Known as the Philip II. And the inside is just every detail of a John Lobb. The stitch density, it's a beveled uh, sole. Uh, there's a little bit of a fiddle back right there, I can feel it. And it's just beautifully done. The stitch density is just impeccable. The fudging on this is well defined the broad in the holes are well spaced out so uh, if i take the other pair i'll show them together and i'll have these pictures posted on instagram so you can get a better view right um, beautiful pair of shoes there's no question that uh, john loves is world renowned and they're also the shoemakers uh, for royalty um, now this is from John Lobb uh, Paris which is not the same John Lobb as St. James but it started with the same family and uh, they split up but the sole the it's just very elegant beautiful pair of shoes if this is uh, going to be one pair of black shoes you are interested in buying rather than a traditional tap to Oxford I would highly recommend you to buy something like a loaf. This is basically a loafer, but a very formal loafer. This is like Churchill's lazy Oxford, right? With the elastics on the side. But it comes with beautiful shoe bands from John Lobb. The new ones are red, actually. But I love John Lobb's. They've served me well, fits me extremely well. And um, the leather keeps up for years to come. This shoe is only about three years old. Now, the only downside to John Lobbs is the price. Uh, I believe I saw a similar pair uh, at Nordstrom's in Bellevue, Washington for about $2,200. So $2,200. That's an excessive price to pay for a pair of shoe today. Uh, three years ago, uh, this pair was on sale for about 1200 which wasn't unreasonable. So, but doubling that, I don't know if I can justify it rather than going bespoke, right? But this is their highest grade of shoe from John Lobb, and that you, that's why they come with shoe trees as well as the sole has the, you know, the dyeing of in black and white. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will post some pictures in my Instagram post uh, for you to further enjoy and consider um, 
you know, as the, this pair of shoes as part of your shoe collection. Have a great day.